One, two, three, Bobby! Come on! Coming up on this week's episode. And embarrassing. If I was the manager, I would have made five subs already. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, I go and welcome back to Rising Ballers. Today I've got a double header. That's two games in one episode. Aren't you guys being treated nicely? So if being treated that well, do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Today I'm presenting you Rising Ballers against Bagshot and I'll present you Rising Ballers against Langley. If you guys didn't know, we've got a giveaway going on. If you'd like to win a kit from Rising Ballers, all you have to do is like, comment, share, subscribe the video within the first three hours. That's it. Three hours. Just look on the video, like, comment, share, subscribe, and you'll be receiving some brand new Rising Ballers merch. Also, big shout out to last week's giveaway winner, Shamir. Stay tuned to our videos every Monday to win some big prizes every single week. Now, without further ado, without further delay, let's get into the lineup and see the ballers who will be representing Rising Ballers today. As you guys can see, we're setting up in a 4-4-2 formation. We've got between the six, we've got Sam. We've got a back four of Aaron, Rex, Zach, and a brand new player in Josh at left back. The four across the middle at right mid, or right wing, as they say. We've got Jermaine. The two in the midfield, we've got Jeremiah and Bilal. And at the left, we've got Mr. Denos, Icky, Mr. Von Stevens, Icky, why are you dropping on the floor and you dribbling? Get up. And we've got a front two of Ryan and Big Money Jabs. The money we spent on Jabs, I can't even speak on. Big sign and big money and he gets us the good goals. On the bench today, we've got Santos, Ayub, Josh, Toby and Amir. And without further ado, let's get into the pre-match antics of the first game, which is against Bagshot. Yeah, we spoke about discipline, our, our lack of discipline in the last few weeks. It cannot be a factor. Yeah, it cannot be a factor. It cannot be a case of I keep changing the squad because someone gets a red card or someone's got a few yellow cards. No, no, no. Discipline today. Yeah, we must be disciplined all over the pitch. We must be clinical all over the pitch. Yeah, when we're defending, be clinical. So that starts from you, Sam. Yeah, being clinical, defending, making big saves, distribution, forwards. Are we taking our chances? Are we creating chances? Are we looking dangerous every time we're going forward? And last but not least, work rate. We've got to work hard. This guy's an idiot. Hey, boys, another big game. Got to go in strong, boys. Don't start slow. Everything intense, intense. Talk to each other. Like, let's actually get people going rather than shout and scream, oh, you did this. Bro, if someone makes a mistake, he knows he made a mistake. Do you get it? Do you get it? Be constructive. I'll be on three. One, two, three. As you guys can see, do not be conflicted. Bagshot are the ones in the blue. We've got rising ballers in a brand new red kit that you can get your hands on. Just like the video in the first three hours. I know you're shocked. Brand new angle. We call this one Sky. Shout out to the guy Sky that brought the drone in. We've got the new angles. As you can see, Bagshot control the ball in the box, but I do think we do make a tackle there. Bagshot got the ball once again. He's trying to spray it, trying to switch the play, but he can't. I do believe that was a young man called Zach getting that one clear. They've got to handle it on the left hand side, but we get forward. Can't I break? Can't I break? Offside being given there. But I like the forward thinking from the boys. As you can see there, Mr. Tenorson's on the ball trying to dribble forward. I think he lost control of it there. A little bit of a kick out from him, a bit late there. And we do can see the silly foul. Now, but he steps up to the free kick. He whips it back post. Keepers come out a bit early and he's paid for it. We are 1 0 down in 15 minutes against Bagshot. As I've said multiple times to keepers, you know, I always take this time to give you young ballers some advice. The area in which Sam is standing, we call that no man's land. If you're a keeper and you end up in that area, you have to commit. You cannot stand, you will get caught out. The rising ball is on the right inside the box. 21 minutes, baby, get ahead of that. That's an absolutely audacious save from a Bagshot keeper. The look at that delivery from the young man, Rex. Whipping it into the box, Aaron. I think he's done well there. Maybe the header was a bit too directed towards the keeper, but it was a good header nonetheless and a better save from the keeper. Well done to him. They've gone big. I know, coach. Shout out, my coach. Go big! They've managed to do it. Number eight, 1v1. Can he get a cross off? He does get a cross off. I think that's number seven arriving late. He gets mismatched. And I don't, I cannot see his number from here, but he's taking a shot. And Dubilo has come off the post here. Back shot looking very energetic, looking very direct. Look like they really came to play a game today and they're ready for one. A foul's been given and the referee says play on. We've been caught on the board, they're a bit, doing a bit too much. But we've retained possession, we've gone for the switch, we've gone big! Mr. Denilson, Mr. Denilson, pull the trigger, my boy, you can't see him, pulls it, oh, you whips it across the box! And the, I think the pass there set jabs up a bit, it was a little bit behind him. I feel like Denilson, mate, you've got to back yourself. Cutting there, you have to pull it. 
We've delivered across into uh, the front post. We've um, not managed to clear it. I think that was Zach that hashed that clearance, but he made up for it in the end with a great tackle. And we cut to another clip. We're just trying to make something happen. We've got in the middle of the park. What can we do? I think he's going to spray out to the left hand side. He does play at the left hand side. You know he's in the left. You know he's in the left. Dun, 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 dun. Nielsen. Number five gets absolutely juiced. He gets the cross off. I think we did take the shot. Two shots. And that is two great saves from their keeper to keep this game 1 0. Mr. Denilson, you know, I just love a winger who's direct. That was a cheeky attempt to flick there. I do believe that was Jermaine that attempted that flick. The first shot and then the follow up. Keeper's done very well. And he's looking like a man of the match right now. They've gone big. And we've met it with a header into the middle of the park. The halftime whistle goes and rising ballers are trailing in this game against Bagshot by one goal to nil. Let's get into the halftime antics, the halftime talk. Hopefully, the coach can motivate the boys. Yeah, you want to go to them, bro. One of the honest ones. But then, but then, it feels like no one's going to shoot all. Like, like, but because you've got to go out to come in. You know what I mean? But not like everyone's just coming in. Oh, yeah. 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 I can't even look like we're going to win. Just everyone's just letting it. We're expecting everyone else to do it for something for yourself. That's why you're black. Like, we're literally we're walking around. Thank you. No one's running. Now you gotta fucking wake up. Because I'll be so honest with you, some of you are not doing yourself no justice whatsoever. Whatsoever. That's been a that has been a poor first half. A poor first half. How many times you kept the ball? Zero. I'll tell you. Zero. You done ball. The last four games, f all. Looking for the top bins every time. F that. Put your foot through it. It's f and embarrassing. I'm seeing man do this. The f is that? I'm, I'll be honest with you. If I was the f manager, I would have made five subs already. The second half is kicking off. You heard the halftime talk. It's just not been good enough. And we're here to rectify that the balls been spread out to the right hand side and already that's not a good start. We've just played the ball. But Denilson's on the boys kind and he pulls the trigger and the keeper makes a great save. If you're sleeping, Denilson will catch you out. Please do not lack. Denilson touches forward. Pull the trigger, my son. Go on. Oh, that fake shot is naughty. I think he's done a little bit too much there. The base for handball. We have had a shot in the end. I think that was jabs. He believes he's been taken down. He believes it's a foul. There's absolute jubilation all over the pitch. And nothing's been given. Jermaine with an ironclad touch there. Unfortunately, couldn't keep the ball and they set it backwards. He's going for a bit of a hash there, number three. That's, that's absolutely disgraceful for number three there. A bit extra there after losing the ball. They spray it across the box. Back stick. Tell me, get, we can't get anything on it. This game is really enter and stuff. 53 minutes played. It's been exciting. I won't lie. Back shot have made this more than a game for us. I think that was jabs that cutting and pulled the trigger by the keepers made. And absolutely nothing of that. Great save from the goalkeeper. And I think he's been debatably man of the match today. We're just trying to move it across the middle now. Can we spray out to the right? No, we up to Revy into the middle. That's a great turn and a shot that's absolutely hit my house. Gonna have to get the builders round to replace some bricks. They've got on the right hand side. They've cutting on Zach. Can they lay off? They lay off a pass. I thought he's laying to the edge. Number seven's trying to dribble. The same guy cutting on Zach tried to set into the middle of the block. I mean, absolutely boot that one clear. On the ball right now. What can he do? Can we get the passes off? We do. We set it forward. Tries to go for a turn there, but can he get on the end of it? Hashed it, made a bit of a hash that dribble, but he still got it. Can he cross it across the box? He does cross across the box, and that one there. Number 11 Downing Street. That's where that ball hit. Wow, that is shocking. Two players on the floor, three players on the floor before the ball's even been played. What's the referee going to make it that? No decision given. Obviously, I haven't got, got the efficient replays. I've not got the facilities to give my opinion on that one, but it's always a bit dodgy when players go down when the ball's nowhere near them. Lionel's got to do their job there, but we can't speak on that. The ball's been sprayed across the box. Can we get on the end of it? We can get on the end of it, and it's just not going in our favour. Frustration from Jermaine there. As you can see, it just doesn't seem to be working out for the boys. The board up and attack on the left-hand side. The ball's been pinged over the top. The blade would be one of the boys is offside, but referee hasn't seen it. Lionel hasn't given it. I think he's gone for a maybe plenty across there. He's not with the best technique. That is Jermaine on the ball. Jermaine whips it. And just like that, Jermaine. I think there will be a bit of jubilation from the back shot, but he's about a potential offside there. But nevertheless, Jermaine just comfortably as ever. He took the first shot, was blocked. Second shot, cool, calm, and composed. Slots that across the box. And you can see what it means to the boys. This game is 1 1, 82 minutes played. A point, I think the boys will be lucky to get away with a point here. But he's one on one, Mr. Jermaine. And I think it was given as an offside there. We don't back out of 50s, it's 100 to 0 on me getting the ball. They're carrying the ball forward. That's a great pass from number eight into their striker. Turn Zach, I do believe, and he's shot to hit down the street as well. Prime Minister's not going to be happy. Go big! The ball's gone over the top. Can we get an end of it? Surely that's an offside. He's left the ball though. 
And that's an amazing challenge from number two to put us off. And the keeper also matched it with an equal save to keep this game 1-1. 85 minutes played. The corner has gone in. Zach, I think, was the target. It didn't come off for him. And they played it forward. Can't I break? Can't I break? Can't I break? Can't I break? 2v1. What's going to happen here? Can he make the right decision? He cuts it on Jermaine. He slips it across. Oh, mate. Talk about composing. Look what it means to them. Look what it means to them. The passion, the desire. As you can see, Jeremiah is in a helpless position. Once he cut on him, there's nothing he could do. He's defending a 2v1 situation. We've all been there. The boys go corner. Can't I break? And the scoreline is 2 1 with the dire minutes of the game. 90 minutes. As you can see, he's on the clock. Maybe they're going to try to play the clock down. Who knows? Look at the desire. Look at the passion from Jermaine. He just wants to get on the ball. He's furious. He wants it. He's hungry. He's starving. This game could get a bit silly though. You know what happened last time when the boys lost um, control of their emotions. They did get a red card. The ball's gone across the box and they've made a good um, challenge of that. Potentially the last kick of the game for this corner. Yeah! And just like that, on the last kick of the game, Rising Ballers have equaled this game. Two goals to do against Bagshot. Will Bagshot feel hard done? Potentially, I think they did play very well this game. I've just got confirmation from cameraman Sean that was an own goal. Let's have a look at the replay. The corner's gone in. Who's it come off? It has actually. It's come off number two's head. Number two, mate. You've made an absolute meal of this game. A game where you definitely should have won. I do believe you were the better team. But you haven't come away with a result you potentially deserve. But you know, football has no favours. And winning has no friends. Write that one down. But the boys are still hungry. They're still searching for a goal. The ball's gone onto the left-hand side of the box. Left-hand side of the pitch. Can we get a cross-off? Zach delivers it. And unfortunately, nothing comes of it. That will be the last kick of the game. Full-time whistles about to go any second now. And that is bag shot two, rising ballers two. That is the first game out of this doublehead I'm about to show you. I do believe the boys rescued this game in a dying minute. Bag shot, very well done to them. Showed great performance, showed great heart and showed great desire. And made this game more than entertaining. That's one point out of a potential three for the boys. Not what we wanted, but what we got in the end. Let's head into the second game and see how the boys can do in a cup game. As you guys can see, the one point that we did manage to grasp from the bag shot game leaves us in 8th place after playing 12 games and acquiring 21 points, but not all hope is lost. If you guys have a look at 5th place, which is the last possible playoff position we could get, they are currently on 22 points with one game in hand. The boys need to start taking points and winning games, that's what we need to do. 3 points should be the minimum. I hope the boys can take this message forward and get us the points we need. If you do want to be in the playoffs this year, we cannot afford to miss out on another playoffs. Heartbreaking scenes last year, and I do not want to go through that again. But nevertheless, do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. We can't be playing the game in silence, and it can't be even, you know, you can't just have one or two, three players just talking. It's got to be, it's got to be a team thing. Yeah, it's, it's got to be a team thing. Decision making in the final third wasn't good enough, was it? Yeah, them, them, you know. Straight passes, work rate. Okay, was our work rate where it should be to win a game of football? If you look at yourself, be honest with yourself, not really. Your decision making wasn't wasn't great at times. But you'll have to you'll have to push each other. You'll have to motivate each other when you get on over that white line. You've got to work hard for each other. Some of you lot out there, you were cheating a bit. You let down your teammates because you cheated. You know who you are. It's got to be better though. Smash a team we have. We've seen that. In training we see it all the time, the stuff you do, the football you play. Us three are never going to ask you to, to do something that's not, that you, you are not at the level to play. But over four to five weeks, I think there's probably about a 15 minute spell out of five matches that you to play proper football in the final tour, yes or not? Stop bringing f***ing hot ass down to the team to fucking train that I wouldn't let wash me boots. But it starts f***ing during the week for me in coaching. That's why there's penalties if you f***ing lose. So you bring it in on bleeding Saturday and it doesn't happen. But this is four to five weeks it keeps happening. As you guys can see, we're heading into the second game. Now we've got one point from that game, but this game isn't about points. This is one and done. Have fun and go on a run. Welcome to the cup. Today we're playing against Langley in this cup game. As you guys are going to see, the lineup will be on your screen very, very soon and you will recognise that some players are not playing. This is due to the fact we've got a big FA Vars game as well as some big league games coming up. So we did choose to rest some players and give other players some minutes, give them some opportunities, let them showcase their ability. 
So we've got a slightly depleted squad today. Let's get into our lineup nonetheless. We're setting up in a 4-4-2 once again. Between the six, we've got Sam. We've got a back four of Aaron, Rex, Toby, and Josh. We've got a middle four or a you know a flat four setup of Esteban, Josh, Santos, and Jeremiah, and a front two of Dominic and Amir. On the bench, we've got Yusuf, Big Money Jabs, and Denilson Ike Alfonso Davies. Ike, why are you on the floor when he's dribbling? Get up and clean your boots. Without further ado, let's get into this game. Good opportunity for certain players that haven't been playing as much football. Yeah, come in, stake your claim, keep your shirt. Give me, myself and Ohms a headache. Yeah? Work hard. In that midfield three. All right? We must work hard. Let's get the ball. Let's control that game. Let's know when to play, when at times we need to go a bit more longer. Got to be a bit smarter. Yeah? Let's not concede too many chances. Yeah? Clinical. I say every week, being clinical on both ends of the pitch. This guy can see we're kicking off today. We're back in the, some say the lucky blue kit. Uh, against a Langley in a cup game in the night sky with the lights. You know, who doesn't love a nighttime game? You know, I know all my lonely players out there can relate. Nighttime game, you know, it's a bit cold and warm. Your, your toes are a bit freezing. But even after going step on, even give a performance, even. The ball's in the left wing now. Langley trying to make something happen. I think that's a bit of an audacious tackle and an equally audacious dive there. They've delivered a back post, and I cannot believe. Do not tell me that he has scored that free kick without the assistance of his man heading it in back post. If he has, that's absolutely amazing technique from the free kick taker. Did number, I'm not even sure to, I'm able to see his number, but I have reason to believe he didn't touch the ball and that guy has scored. Um, if you guys remember, I scored a very similar goal against Real Madrid and they knocked them out of the cup. Will we be the Real Madrid today? Who knows? As Dom gets in the ball, shifts it across the box and hopefully we can get equalising goal. No, we can't because Langley's keeper is awake and present today. That's a great save from him. I want to give keepers more praise. You know, they do an unspoken. They do, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The job, they're a bit of unsung heroes. They do a great job and don't get a mention. But today I would mention, I'll be mentioning players that deserve it. That's an absolutely amazing Jax on the right wing. Can we get a cross off? He's beaten one. He's beaten two. He's cut back and dropped his man. Where are you going? Get up. I think he's made a bit of a meal of that when he did it. Uh, beat one, beat two. You've got to give the ball off there. Number four tried to make something a bit of a cheeky turn. Didn't come off. We've got a touch on the ball. Can he drive through the middle? No, he can't. He sets it. Opts to get it back. On the left foot. Drill it across the goal. The keeper, once again, is more than awake. Looking a bit Pickfordish. He's made another great save to keep Langley's lead. And I can see today that this keeper is looking for another man in the match performance. Against Bagshop, we had a keeper that was on form. Looks like we've got another one today. But can we beat him today more times than they beat ours and get the, get the win? And that's an absolutely disgusting challenge from there. Center back seems to be wearing number nine. That one there, we definitely call a number nine challenge because that is a bit extra. The referee isn't, hasn't paused the game and doesn't plan to. As Langley just continue to move the ball, it moves to the right hand side now. But let's have a look at that challenge one more time. Some say he got the ball first, some say he didn't. Let me know down in the comments below. It's a meaty one, nevertheless. Was he number five? He's number five. My apologies, number five. As you can see, Langley just moving the ball from right to left. He's trying to feel out um, the game, trying to pick out options, look for some gaps. They've got the ball on the left hand side where they did get the first initial free kick that caused the goal. This time, though, we don't concede the foul. They've gone big! Once again, they managed to get in behind our defence. 1v1 on the left hand side. What can he do? He's showing trickery and pace. He draws that one across the box. They get a touch in the box. They set it. And they do manage to bury that one into the back of the net. I will not lie, that was a very, very good, well-worked goal. They sprayed it from the back to the left-hand side. He's done well to beat our man on, um, on the wing. He's come inside and very unselfish from their number nine to set. I'm not sure of his number. And a very cool, calm, composed finish to give Langley a two-goal lead. And the ball's been sprayed across the box. So he's pulled the trigger. And I do believe the keeper got a hand on that. This guy is absolutely ridiculous. Can we get some pen to paper for him? He's absolutely... Mate, he's just looking ridiculous this game. I won't even lie to you. Shout out to Langley Keeper. Obviously, he's an opposition player, but, you know, footballer recognises a footballer, and I know when I see a good player. And I do believe Emil was fouled there, but if he sees nothing wrong with it, and we play on, let's have a look at a replay. It's still, the ball's come back. Toby just absolutely great touch to control it. Opens up and puts it in the goal on his left, but the keeper's equal to the effort and keeps it out of the goal. Let's have a look at this challenge one more time. Foul or not, let me know down in the comments below, because if you do believe it is, then that is a penalty. I will be in the comments to look at your responses. Let me know what you think. Bit of um, dilly dally and a bit of boisterous behavior going on around the ball. What's the referee going to make of this? As you can see, this is just a mere talking to referee expressing his discomfort and his dislike towards the foul, and he's been sin bin for it. So the boys will play the next 10 minutes with one man down. 
That will be 10 against 11 in a game where they're already 2 0 down, near enough approaching half time. 44 minutes on the clock, about to hit the half time mark, 45, and they're just moving it to be fair. Langley, I think, just uh, maybe taking a, taking a back seat in this game, but they've taken a shot there. And we've been equal to it with a save from Sam. Well done to Sam there for keeping out the goal. We sprayed it forward. We've gone big. Now one of our players has lost control there. Can he get back on his feet? Unfortunately, he can't. Langley players are diving in left, right, and center. They are hungry. Can we match their hunger? Can we match their desire? And probably get a goal before half time. That would help a lot. We spray it down to the left hand side, but they get ahead to it. It's back in the middle of the park. You can get their foot on it. We've got on our foot on it. They've come in there very aggressively in the challenge. He was not given the yellow card and he was not sin bin for this. The boys are absolutely in disgust about that. Bearing in mind, one of their players is just sin bin for the same thing. I mean, one of our players is sin bin for the same thing. I mean, the player has received the yellow card in the end, but he has not been simbing, and the RB players are not happy about that decision, letting the referee know how they feel about it. Nevertheless, we played the ball forward from that foul. We managed to get ahead on it, but it's not been directed towards the goal, and I do believe we will go into half time 2 0 down against Langley in a game where you can't really say the boys deserve to be winning. Langley seems to be ready to put up a fight, and hopefully, in the second half, we can equal that fight, if not best them, and get at least um, equalising goals and head towards extra time. Because at the moment, they're being first at every single ball. They're first every single ball. In the tackle, they're stronger in the tackle. It needs to be better from us. Yeah? Boys, it's got to be better. You got 45 minutes and you're out the cup. 45 minutes and then you're out the cup. You should be disappointed in that first half. Yeah? It, you need to be better in the second half. You go there, you go there, you go there. Not one of you. F***ing grow some balls. Are you scared? Because you look like clowns out there. You look scared. As you guys can see, 2 0 down. The boys are just trying to make something happen. In a game like this, it's all about heart, it's all about desire. Can we show some? Who knows? You play the ball forward, trying to make something happen. Langley have gone in there heavy. We tried to come away with the ball. As I said, if I'm from if I'm thinking of Langley's perspective, what are we trying to do? We're trying to go in for an early goal to kill off the game. You know, what what goal has seen the most comebacks? Definitely two goals. Their players beaten one, beaten two, squared it, and just like that, it's like I knew it was gonna happen. Langley get their third goal of this game and potentially have just killed off the game. The boys seem quite lethargic in their response to it. It's like I knew, but look at this player. What number is he wearing? Number 11. Just shifting and moving, shimmying and shazzying. Just showing in and out, just like that, in rapid fashion. You know, a selfish player will pull the trigger after all those um, tricks and, and skills he just showing off, trying to get the golden goal, the best goal. But he's thought, no, let me be unselfish. Let me think of the team. And he's gotten himself an absolutely amazing assist there. And Langley has scored their third goal in this game. I will not pretend to you like I see a comeback happening in this game. Hopefully the boys can make the scoreline respectable. Number 11 one one with a keeper and he's just made it four goals. As I've said that, as I've said that, look at the Langley bench. They're letting the boys know all about it on the bench. They, they seem to be out of the, over the moon with their performance and why wouldn't they be? They just scored an absolutely brilliant goal. Number 11 who a minute ago just got an amazing assist and just pulled off an absolutely amazing finish. Lobbed our keeper Sam and made it four goals to nil. We're trying to make something happen. I do you believe that's Mr. Denilson trying to take on one man, trying to take on two men, sets to the edge of the box. We've taken a shot and they've blocked it. 56 minutes played. We'd have to do an absolute wonder here to come back from four goals down. The ball's been delivered back post and nothing really comes of it. There's shouts for a handball. Referee's not having it. The boys are absolutely hysterical in their response. Asking the line of what he sees. As you can see, the Langley left back there is clapping hysterically as well. He doesn't believe there was any handball and we're making an attack on the left-hand side. A bit of a late challenge and the referee's going to give a foul. We will get a free kick from the left-hand side. Hopefully we can make something happen, make this game a bit respectable. We've delivered the ball and I think the keeper's come out to punch that one. And there's a race on the left-hand side. As the final whistle is about to go, the final score will be Langley 4, Rising Ball is no And just like that, Langley have eliminated Rising Ball from the cup. And you know me, I'm not a sole loser. Langley, I do believe, regardless of the squad we set out today, came with a fight, came with passion, and it came with a plan, and they executed that plan very well. I hope the boys can learn from this loss, take it in their stride, and come back stronger next week. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe in the first three hours to get yourself a Rising Ballers kit. I've been LB, this is Rising Ballers, and we'll see you guys next week. All right, lads. Um, sometimes you've got to eat humble pie, innit? Yeah? Better team one. Better team on the night one. There's no point in me coming in, shouting and screaming and, you know, cursing. What, what good is that going to do? You lot know from your own standards, that's not good enough. You don't need me to tell you that, yeah? You lot should know as, as a group of players. You lot should know that's not good enough. The guy's f***ing barging you like that and you're doing this. Ref, what are you doing?
guys run in. I'm not gonna lie, you're lucky I didn't <laughs> say your heads off. Talking to your friends on the side, your boys are 2 0 down. In the second half, you was embarrassing. I've never come off a pitch before and said that I was battered or I didn't walk hard enough. So stop running. Again, talking to your mates, listen to me. Oh, sweet. Hopefully, it wakes from me as f up because that's a joke. One, two, three. Hobby! Come on! Come on. Come on.